What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Phil from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com In this video, we're going to talk about how to use Captain Plugins to create your own samples So let's get into it <laughs> If this is your first time, shout out your city, shout out your favorite weapon of choice If you are into beat making, please subscribe and hit that notify bell so that way you'll be notified each time I upload new content. So the software I'm going to use is Captain Chords. You know, we are in the holiday season. As you all know, at the time of this video, there's going to be a lot of Black Friday sales and this is one of them. And I just wanted to kind of display. I'm not going to get too detailed, but I want to show you how you can use it in a different way. So this particular thing, Captain Chords, I'll have the link below. It's going to be 40% off if you're interested. Full disclosure, this does help the channel out if you decide to click on the link down below. If not, you can go to it on your own. It's all good. I'm just sharing information. So anyway, I want to start with this guy right here, Captain Chords. And actually, there's four themes. There's Captain Chords, Captain Deep, and then Captain Melody and Captain Play. And that, those are the four things I'm going to talk about. So Captain Chords is pretty dope because it allows you to easily just make progressions and choose progressions and it comes with sound. So let me just play like as soon as you open it, this is what you get. Right. So let's just kind of go over some sounds because it does come with its own sounds. This is piano strings and look. You got a whole list of different sounds, man, in different categories, guitar, keys, lead, pad, plucks, strings. Let me go over just a few of maybe the keys. Pretty cool. Guitars. Leads. Ooh, that's nice. Analog. Ooh, pads. Ooh. Plucks. So all these are included. So you, you know, if you need some more sounds, boom. And I didn't even go through all of them. Let's go with, I think that's pretty cool. Somber organ, let's do that. Somber organ. And then over here, I'm going to create where it says progression. I'm going to pick a progression and you have a lot to choose from. Of course, you can create your own, but if you just, you know, you want something quick and you want to do something real fast. Let's go with that one. Cool. So now I see it automatically just places it in here. Not going to hit play. And then I can adjust it. I can put space in it, whatever. Look at this. You can adjust that. I'm using this space bar over here. Smart legato. So if I didn't want them connected, I could do that. You know, put space in it. Say I wanted to add reverb to it. So you can add effects to it. Maybe filter it if you wanted to. Maybe we'll leave it like that. Let's say we wanted to add a bass line to it. So then I'll go over here to Captain Deep and watch this. And it's important to use Captain Chords first because then if you use the other things I'm showing you, it automatically syncs up to whatever is on Captain Chords. So Captain Deep is all about bass lines. So let's do this and see there's already a bass line already <laughs> there for me. Let me see what that sounds like. See how I was playing along with the Captain Chords? It, 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 it did it automatically, but I can change that sound if I wanted to. Or you can use your own sounds too, because you know, as you can see down here, this is MIDI. So that means you can drag it to whatever sound you want to. And of course you can change the sound. Let's go through the different sounds. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. There's a ton of different basses, so. All right, cool. And then you can change the rhythm. See this over here? There's quarter notes right here, but I can change that. I can do. <laughs> so 
I got chords and I have a bass. Now let's go to melody. If I open up melody, Captain Melody, it's supposed to already sync up. You see, it's I'm just opening. <laughs> this is crazy. This AI is crazy, man. You don't have to know any theory, man. You know, it's it's no excuse. And again, you can change the sounds. And let's see what this sounds like. Right? So, boom. And now I can change that if I wanted to. This little button right here, it says randomize idea box. So if I click on that, it comes up with a whole different melody. And these notes can be changed. Whatever you want to do. Change it up again. If I could bring this up, I should be able to. I wanted to select all of this and then bring it up an octave. Did I do that? Yep, you can. And again, I can add delay, I can filter it. And again, I can change the sound. Okay, check this out, man. If I go to Captain Play, and as I'm doing this, I'm not even using a MIDI controller at all. You can see what I'm doing, man. I'm just using this keyboard. I can press keys, and it's playing the sound. Okay, you see how I'm using my keyboard? I can use any sound I want to. I'm using this guitar sound. This uh, rotary paw, that's pretty dope. I can use my keyboard and just play chords just using single single keys and just match the keys up and notice this little section down here it's recording midi so then when i'm done i can just drag it so just by playing Okay, so now that I have this, I can drag that to my region. So let's try that. Drag. There you go. So that's the MIDI that I just dragged in. Then I can go back up here. Same thing with the melody. Just drag all your MIDI. And let's do the same thing with the bass line. I'm dragging the bass line. And then the Captain Chords. All four tracks together. So I just created <laughs> a sample, man. And I can bounce this if I wanted to, you know, select all of these and then bounce it to another track. Bounce in place and just call it sample. Ooh. Anybody can do this. If you just starting, you can do this. Of course, once you have your sample, you know, you could put into folder and create sample packs if you want to. I mean, <laughs> why not? Of course, you could chop it up if you wanted to. Change the key, of course, do whatever, man. Throw a beat on it, whatever. Do what you do. idea you know something as simple as that man i would encourage you to try it out i'm talking to the <laughs> you know i'm talking to the folks who are just beginning or they want to speed up their workflow they want to get into this thing consider this type of way to do it man i mean it's it's just you know just another way to make beats so if you have any questions let me know i will leave a link down below for captain chords and all that good stuff once again it is there is a discount and I will leave the link below if you're interested. And um, I'm sending peace and positive energy. I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Don't forget to subscribe. 
I'll have a special link for you. Check it out below and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm sending peace and positive energy.